Hello and welcome to Top 10 Features of ADS 2023. In this video series, we are talking about all the latest enhancements in ADS. In this video, we will focus on Memory Bus Designer, which is going to be very useful for anybody working in memory design applications. Using the Memory Bus Designer, you can build your command address, or data, pre-layout, models very, very easily. As compared to the earlier approaches where you had to deal with multiple schematic components and then worry about interconnecting each one of them used to be very painful and laborious. Using the Memory Bus Designer, now you have a very nice and easy visual driven workflow whereby you can configure the exact configuration or topology which you require in order to build your complete channel with much greater ease and I will demonstrate how easy it is to use in this video. Now a few things to know before you start using bus designer you require three basic things number one substrate number two all your transmission line models have to be built with CILD which you can easily add in the line types and then use it in your memory bus designer. The third thing is the VM model and you have three approaches to use different kind of VM model. Starting with something simple which is short whereby you can evaluate the impact of the VM onto your overall link performance. You could use as parameter data which you might have extracted using a third party EM tool or have obtained through measurements. The third and final flow is by using EM model which is a workflow enabled by VR designer which is available in ADS, which offers a very high accuracy in doing the VR analysis, which I will also give you one slide snapshot of the capability. Now, just a quick refresher on CILD, which is Controlled Impedance Line Designer. It allows you to synthesize lines of various configuration and take care of all the key aspects of your transmission line design. Once you synthesize a line, you can save it like a single line in your library or convert it into a bus and then save it in the line type models. And these models can be used in the memory bus designer. Now for VR designer, it's a full 3D FEM based analysis technique to create VRs of your choice. You can either create a single VR or the array of the VRs and very advanced topics are included in the VR designer so that you can optimize your breakout feeds, add micro VRs, add conical VRs as might be required in your typical VR design. Now once you have those two things in place you can start using memory bus designer and start adding the sections as you require to build up your channel. There are multiple enhancements in ADS 2023 whereby you can provide custom name for your components, copy paste sections of lines of vias to quickly come up with the overall topology which you need. You can also assign variables and then perform batch simulation as you require in your memory applications. Now here are a few examples to illustrate the different kind of configuration you can create. First example is about one channel to dim system whereby if you compare it with the old way which required again multiple schematic components to be handled in a new way it's a very streamlined wizard driven flow which simplifies your job and increases your productivity by leaps and bounds. Here is another example which is embedded command address bus with four DRAMs and again you can see how scalable is the solution and you can simply keep on adding as many sections as you need to come up with a complete end-to-end -end channel design or the link design. Here is another case with clamshell topology. Here again using memory bus designer you can create your clamshell topology and very easily analyze for your memory analysis. Now once you have the channel in the desired topology you can use rest of the components from memory designer library palette and perform the complete link level assembly and simulate them to see the overall response at various levels of configuration which you require. So with this introduction let's turn our attention to an actual demo so that you can yourself see how easy or difficult it is to use memory bus designer. Now in this particular case I have placed some basic components which I have talked about in the last video on memory designer. Now the missing piece here is the channel. 
Now, as we discussed in the last video, you can either use the post layout extracted channel or you can build a pre layout channel. So memory bus designer is a nice way to come up with your own channel whereby the vias are simulated by a full 3D FEM kind of tool and the channels are very accurately modeled by CILD so that you can get best of the both worlds and easily optimize to come up with the right set of channel for your memory simulations. So to start with memory bus designer, simply place this component, double click, select whether you want to do a data bus or command address bus. In my case, I will select data bus. Then you can choose the bus system configuration type to be embedded or dim. In my case, I will simply go ahead with embedded configuration. Next point is to select the right stack up. And if you have multiple stack up, you can choose the appropriate one to be used for this channel simulation or the channel design. By clicking on next, you can define the reference designator as my memory controller is named as U1, which you can see on a schematic and DRAM is named as U60. I'm going to specify the same name here so that the bus connections can be easily done. Now, in my case, I'm defining one group where I have eight DQ signals per group. So clicking on next, you can decide where you want to place the strobe signal. In my case, I will place it between the data signals. And now this is the line configuration, which I have just prepared. So you can see four DQ channels, the strobe in between, and then remaining four DQ channels. By clicking on next, now you are at the place where you can build up your lines and channel configuration. So here I can simply click on add line and this option here, if I have saved multiple type of lines in my CILD, I can pick the right line to be used in my design here. I specify the length of the segment. In my case, I will keep it 100 mil and define the width and the spacing. And here I will show you a very nice trick. You can specify one width and largely all the DQ lanes will have the same width. So I can simply control C to copy select all of these lanes right click and paste to select it with one option i have specified the width of all the lines similarly depending on the spacing you can select it right click and paste to this column in my case both width and spacing are 4.6 mil in your case it is different so accordingly you can go ahead and specify once you define this, click on calculate and now I can perform calculation of this line and find out the single ended or differential impedance. In this particular case, as you can see, it's close to 50 ohm and that is how somehow I want it. So once I have the right lane, I can add a via section and here again, as we discussed, you have three options. In this particular case, I'm going to use this parameter option browse to the parameter file and here is my 20 port parameter file and now you can define the pin configuration on the controller side and memory side and here 1357 is on one side 2468 is on the other side and that's how the mapping will be done now if you want to create a new line you can either add a line and again specify the parameters in my case i'm going to use the same line so i remove the component simply right click here copy right click on the via and paste after selected to insert a new line with the same specification which i already provided and now here i will go ahead and specify length to be 1000 mil so this way you can keep adding lines and via sections as much as you want once you're done Simply click on finish and now you have the bus design already done. Now we can use wire to connect to make the bus connection by clicking on these two edges. Connect all and very, very simply you have made the bus connection between controller and your channel. And similarly, now I can do from channel to the DRAM with one click. As you can see, you are making the entire bus connection. Now, once everything is complete, let's go ahead and simulate because the rest of the setup is already pre-configured. Now, while simulation will take few seconds, let me illustrate one point here. With any of these lanes, if you want to attach a variable, you can do so very easily, like how I have given 4.6 mil. You can even assign variable to the length wherever you want. Once you have the variable assigned and you declare the variable on schematic, you can go to memory designer setup, go to bathsim setup, and then you can sweep those variables 
either using the ADS variable definition on a schematic or you can read the variable value from an CSV file and this CSV file might be obtained from some statistical DOE software such as Jump or any other tool which you might be using. So the same flow will even work if you are doing design exploration kind of study. Now after simulation you can see the DQI diagrams and in the center you have DQSI diagram. So as you can yourself see how easy and painless process is to use memory bus designer and be productive in a very short amount of effort. So thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you like this new capability in ADS and you would like to try it out on your memory design. In case you need any help, please contact your local Keysight tech support team and they will be able to offer every kind of assistance which you need. Thanks again and wish you all the best in your design work.